Hey, happy Saturday, Rockstar, September 7, 2024. And I'm gonna tell you guys a secret about eBay sales and your store overall that a lot of you probably don't know. Some of you will know this, but I've only covered in a video one other time I could find, and it was probably about two years ago. So what's that secret? And how did I cover it two years ago? And why have I not covered it since? Shame on me, I should have covered it every single day because this one hurts sellers a lot. So this is what it is. When you have a store full of items, let's say for example, 2000 listings, and a thousand of those listings have been sitting for a long time, six months, nine months, a year, no matter how good they are, they could be coach shoes or Burberry shirts or purses or could be really good stuff. No matter how long it's been in your store, if it's been sitting for a long time and you have a large amount of those items in your store as a whole, when you go to your eBay performance page, your traffic page, I'll put a screenshot up here for you. You have something called a click through and a sell through rate. What those are is essentially when people search for items and they find your items on the initial page, the search result page, and then if they actually click and view the item, the click-through rate, or if they actually purchase the item from clicking it, that would be your sell-through rate, that number is affected by the number of items that you have and the amount of times people click on it and either buy it or don't buy it. And if somebody is clicking on your item or a bunch of people are clicking on your Bur Burberry shirt hundreds of times and no one is buying it, it's lowering your rate because you're getting a ton of clicks. Your click-through rate might be good, but your sell-through rate is terrible. And the reason, the reason is because most of the time you're overpriced. Could be other reasons. Could be that your feedback sucks or it could be that your description was terrible or you didn't have enough information. But generally, the majority of those is because they're way overpriced. <clears throat> and that's how you can generally tell that you are overpriced on an item. If you're getting a lot of interest on an item and it's not selling, and people are clicking it, it's getting views, it's getting clicks, it's getting watchers, it's a good item, it's a good brand, you, you have good feedback, good handling, good, if everything else is good, it's almost always your price. You're married to the inventory. Well, in eBay's algorithm, this is your secret, write it down. In eBay's algorithm, the click-through rate and the sell-through rate are very important. There's a reason they're right there on that page. And I've confirmed this with eBay and I've gone over this in the past, like I said. That click-through rate and sell-through rate will cause eBay, if you are not doing well, to drag your store down. It will cause it to bring down the rest of your store in search results and in potential sales. So even though you have good items, if they're not moving and you are married to them and they are sitting and sitting and sitting and sitting and sitting, you're only hurting yourself. Now, I never, ever tell people to give things away. And there'll be people that'll say, well, I see other people selling it for 60. I see other people selling it for 60. 60, 60, 60, I'm at $60, I don't understand. That's true. There may be people that sell stuff at X price and X price and Y price and Z price, but you got to go off of the averages. If there's 20 of those shirts sold and one sold for 60 and one sold for 20 and the rest of them sold for 30, 35, 40, it's probably a good uh, estimate that it's like a $35 shirt. You might get 60 if you're willing to hang around forever and wait for it, find the right buyer. Maybe there was something special about the other persons that sold for 60. Maybe it had gold buttons instead of silver ones. I don't know, it could be anything, right? You can't just go off of one item that's sold. This is the problem because people just see that one price and they become married to, I don't, you know, I get people that are like, well, I've got it on sale and I'm accepting offers. That's great. But when every other one is listed for 30, 30, 30, 30, 40, 30, 40, 40, 30, 40, nobody has to put you an offer in at 60 bucks. They can just buy the one for 35 and 40 and they're done. They don't even have to wait around for you, right? You're losing sales. And by losing those sales and holding on to inventory, by being married to the inventory, how many times do I have to say this? Married to the inventory. Your sell-through rate on your eBay performance and tracking page is being dragged down. There's always this thing, it's called the snowball effect. When you start selling items on eBay, and you probably notice this, as you sell items, you start getting more activity. And then as you sell those, you get more activity and it snowballs, right? If you don't go days without selling things, it just keeps being dead, right? If you start selling things, it's like it spikes. That's why we always hear the people like, oh my God, everything went crazy. Well, yeah, when you sell a couple items, the eBay algorithm goes, whoa, sell through rate up, prop the rest of the store up, more items sell, on and on and on and on. You gotta keep that momentum up, right? So the secret is, Holding on to old items, being married to them, and having junk. If you have a ton of junk in your store that will never sell, you've got like Beanie Babies and, and Disney VHSs that are just sitting for ages and ages and ages, man, they're dragging your click-through rate and your sell-through rate down drastically. Please move them out, sell them, get rid of them. 
Here's the thing, that stuff is stuff people don't wanna see. They're, you're just clogging up eBay. eBay is taking up server space and taking up room for crap that no one's ever going to buy. If you've got Disney VHSs up for $5 free shipping, what good are you doing yourself? Even if you sell them, you're gonna pocket what, like a dollar? Instead, you're dragging your whole store down. Quality over quantity. I'm not saying you shouldn't have tons of listings and keep posting and listing, but if stuff has been sitting that long, like really, you've got VHSs from a year ago, two years ago, five years ago, you know who I'm talking about here, please get rid of it. Lot them up. First step, this is what I do. First step is blow stuff out. Try to sell. If you got stuff up for 20 bucks that's just not worth it and it's garbage, blow it out. If you've got really good stuff like Burberry shirts that are 50, 60 bucks and they've been up for a year, it means you're overpriced. Go back and realistically audit them, price them, and get them moving. Drop the price. Keep dropping. Put a two-week, a four-week, a six-week goal on getting rid of all this better stuff. That's step two. Step three, if none of that works, lot things together. If you've got 10 VHS tapes up for five bucks each, put them all together. That's 50 bucks. Drop the price to like 35, 40 for the lot of, of 10 or whatever it is, right? Lot things together. If you don't have things that are lottable, like you have a one-off Burberry shirt and it's not selling, Consider an auction, that would be step four. Consider an auction, start it at $9.99, free shipping. Just whatever it is to sell it. Figure out what you paid for it, what the fees are. The shipping's gonna be five bucks, the fees are gonna be $3, that's $8. You paid five bucks for it, that's 13. Start it at $14.99 if it's a good item. Start it at $9.99, start it at $4.99 if it's something cheap. You gotta take these steps and move the old inventory. If you don't, you're gonna be stuck with it forever. Your sell-through rate, your click-through rate, and your store overall search algorithm is going to be dragged down, and you're going to suffer from it. So that's the secret. That's the tips. It's not a secret. A lot of you know this, but a lot of you don't realize how much damage that that is doing to your store by having all this crazy, drastic old inventory. Somebody I know has 13,000 listings. They only sell like five a day, and the reason they only sell five a day is because 10,000 out of those 13,000 listings are either junk or have been around forever. They refuse to move on the pricing. They refuse to be aggressive. When I do store audits and reviews for people, which if you're interested, I do one week, two week, four week audits and reviews. Uh, you can email me, rockstarflipper at gmail.com. I'll put my email down below for you guys. Um, when I look through their stores, I tell them to be aggressive with offers and move this old inventory. And a lot of times the response I get is, I don't understand what that means. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to be aggressive. I don't know how to move inventory. And so I walk them through this and I teach them and I coach them and I show them how to do everything that's going to take. And I identify those old items because you can search for them. You can see what's good and what's bad and what's old and what's new. It's, it's really not that difficult to start moving that stuff. You just got to get emotionally detached. Don't be married to the inventory. My top secret, I'm going to post it a hundred times on a hundred videos on this channel. If it only helps one seller, then mission accomplished. That's it. That's it for the Saturday video. I'm going to put this up so you guys can see it, get started on it, and hopefully make some changes this weekend to fix your store. If you need help, if you need my help, I work with sellers a week, two weeks, or four weeks. It's your choice. I'll go through your whole store. I'll check everything. I'll help you get it fixed. Uh, it's very, very uh, quick. It's very easy. It's very reasonable. You're going to have to take that emotion out of it and let me help you. Rockstarflipper at gmail.com. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Have a wonderful uh, Saturday, Sunday. If I don't talk to you before, then I'll have more videos out for you tomorrow. Make sure you go follow me on TikTok and Instagram. It's Rockstar Flipper on Instagram and Casey Rockstar Flipper on TikTok. I'll link those below as well. Thank you so much for being here. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Come back, watch for more eBay videos, reselling news, financial business, and everything else you need to know. And I will see you next time.